Hi, Dogu's birthday is next month, guys. I'll see him next month. Half you. Content creators are we? Hello, Sparta people. Guys, I'm definitely on the right track. Remember, I said I go where the good Lord leads me. Guys, do you remember the last video? Don't worry, if you don't remember, I'm actually going to link it. Do you guys remember the last video when I said when I come back to the prayer garden, it will be in full bloom? And can you guys remember how this prayer garden used to be? And remember all of the things that I said I asked Elohim for, that I wanted the prayer garden to look the way I envisioned it in my mind. Guys, can you see the prayer garden? For those of you who are my Spartas, for those of you real life people who Sparta me, guys, can you see the grace of God in action? Guys, look at the prayer garden. Remember when people used to come and, and poo here? I'm sorry, Abba. I can't avoid using the word poo. Anyway, guys, see. Guys, look at God's glory. Guys, it happened before all of us. Look at the prayer garden. I don't know if they'll let me pick the flowers or not, but when I left home, I didn't know that this is where I was going to... Guys, look at the prayer garden. Look. Guys, there's nothing that you would ask him that he would not give to you. Guys, look at the prayer garden. When I thought of the prayer garden, this is exactly how I envisioned it to be. You know, in full bloom, thriving. Guys, prayer works. Prayer works for anything. Anything at all that you want. Guys, this is real life, guys. This is real life, guys. This is real life, guys. Please go and look for the related videos. I'm going to link... I'm going to link the other videos. I'm going to try and link as many of the videos. I mean, the garden is in such full bloom that you can't actually walk in it now. But guys, look. Guys, look at the prayer garden. Guys, this is the handwork of God. Nobody has tended this garden. Nobody has done anything to this garden. See? It's, this is God. This is God in action. Hmm? He does it so that he can prove his supremacy in the land of the living. That he is God and he is never changing. He will keep his covenants even up until everlasting. Guys, look at the prayer garden. I used to come here. Sometimes I would be crying because of the state it would be in. You know, just to get at me, people would come and they would put all sorts of things, especially poo. But then again, they say that it's actually, it's manure, isn't it? It's a fertilizer. So, you know, it actually, he actually used it to his glory. Guys, look at the prayer garden. This is, this is a natural garden. It hasn't been tended. It hasn't been tended. Nobody has done anything to this garden. If you don't believe me, you can actually see the videos where I'm actually praying, where I'm saying, Elohim, please bless this garden for me. Let it be the way that I want it to be. Guys, look at the prayer garden. And in the last video, I said that next time I come to the prayer garden, that is going to be in full bloom. I will follow my Elohim all the days of my life because he has never disappointed me and he has never let me down. This is exactly how I envisioned this prayer garden to be. And I know that when I come, it's going to be even better. I mean, look at it. It's thriving. It's so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. This is the handwork of God, guys, in the land of the living. It happens so that everybody can see. So that you can know that truly that he is God and he reigns even up until everlasting. I mean, look at this God. This is a real life miracle that all of us are witnessing. Hmm? Remember when I used to come to this prayer garden and I mean... <sighs> gosh <laughs> he is truly amazing thank you elohim i'm so grateful thank you for answering my prayer guys i really hope more of you would do prayer gardens i really do you know i really really do i mean look at this it's amazing it's absolutely it's absolutely amazing this is the handwork of god so for those of you who believe that god doesn't exist this is it. This is a real life miracle for you to actually see the handwork of God. I invite you to look for the other videos. 
you know, the other videos of the prayer garden, you know, the very first video that I posted where I was talking about it, you know, look at the prayer garden, look. <laughs> it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, but am I allowed to take something home? I don't know if I'm allowed to take anything home. <laughs> guys, look at the prayer garden. Oh, guys, look at the prayer garden. Let me, let, let me just leave the flowers to thrive. Mm? Guys, look at the prayer garden. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Mm. Abba Father. It's truly amazing. He is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, I'm so chuffed. This is exactly how I wanted it to be. Yeah. When I went online and I saw the concept of prayer gardens. Guys, you can come here and you can pray. There's absolutely no reason why. I mean, the garden is so pretty now that I don't want to walk in it, you know, to ruin the beauty of it. But you can still come and sit around here, walk around here and pray to God. Because the presence of God is definitely here. <laughs> guys if you like this content if you like you know if you like this kind of stuff if you're walking with the father yourself if you're on a spiritual journey with god please like comment and subscribe so that you can see more of the goodness of god manifested in the land of the living to his glory we have a god who is unchanging he will never ever change his covenant is yes and amen even up until everlasting guys <laughs> guys god god is good god is good he's exciting he's exciting mm? he will make you fall in love with him he will he will make you fall in love with him come to this prayer garden come to this prayer garden to witness this miracle guys guys look at the prayer garden it's absolutely amazing look at the prayer garden yeah? look 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 even even these edges even these edges you know that were totally abandoned look they're all blooming they're all thriving look <laughs> and people say there is no god hmm? Mm, just, just look at the prayer garden guys look at the prayer garden okay 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 guys so that's it if you like this wonderful video i believe that a lot of people are going to be blessed by this video because obviously the presence of god is here i mean we're here in the church mm. for those unbelievers this is actually a church <laughs> Okay, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Please like my video. Elohim, please, can they get me to 1 million subscribers before December this year so that we can do more wonderful work. Thank you so much. I'm grateful, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, guys. I love you, guys. Let me take a picture in the prayer garden. Hi guys, how are you doing? Morning and afternoon and evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. So guys, I'm in the African fabric shop. I want to get some, I want to come back and get some African wax. Yeah, I want to come and get some African wax. So guys, I'm just doing this to give myself an idea of what it is I want to get next time I come here. Hmm? I asked her to help me. She said she's busy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Guys, African Fabric Shop. What are you guys called? Brontex Fabrics. Yeah, that's true. They're called Brontex Fabrics and they're in Cricklewood. This is Cricklewood, yeah. Yeah. This Cricklewood is, uh, yeah. So, guys, I'm just, oh. <laughs> Please, if you're somebody that's looking for a job and you've got time to be following me about when I'm outside to film me, contact me. I'll pay you money. This is the second time I've made this advert. Mm? Our people say, chop alone, die alone, okay? So, I don't want to chop alone because I don't want to die alone. Yeah, so, this is Rontex Fabric in Kilburn. What? Well, in Cricklewood. Cricklewood is not far from Kilburn, my love, so... If you're in, you know, if you're coming that way, you'll find it. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to get some more fabric. And then I will do a video showing you guys the stuff that I made from the fabric that I bought from them. Okay. Their prices are reasonable. 
you know that one that i wanted with the mercedes logo yeah. was that six yards yeah that was six yards and oh. it's 29 it's 29 that's 29 british pounds do you know how much does that translate in naira do you know no i don't know the okay rates. but they can do the rates anyway yeah. you guys can do the math yeah so guys i've been coming here for a while you know i always pass here i always pass here the other day i came in here I like what they've got. I believe that they've got a good selection. But what I'm actually going to do to prove this to you guys in real life is I'll get some things, some colors that I like. Yeah, these are the Nigerian designs. Yeah, that's, uh, you see, if, if somebody had filmed us, it would have been easier because now I've started sweating. So she's showing me, she's showing me opener. You know, they've got the classics. This is classic uh, African wax. This one is called opener. You have flying horse as well. Flying horse? Like this? This one? Yeah. If you know flying horse, you know, yeah. That's flying horse. Okay. Yeah, I'm teaching her. This, <laughs> most of us, our moms had flying horse. My mom, yeah. Most of us of my generations, our moms would have had all of the trending rappers at that time. You have Hollandis? No. She doesn't have Hollandis. So, guys, this one is called flying horse. I'm going to get flying horse when I come. This one, this one, I used to have it because my mom gave me her one. Because that was, that used to be the idea back in the day that, you know, when you have nice Hollandis or nice wax, you pass it down to your daughters. So it used to be a thing. I don't know if they still do it. Yeah, they, yeah, they still do yeah, it. Yeah, so, so, pardon? Yeah, this is veritable wax Hollandis. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. So if you buy it, you would tie it, you wear it, wear it until you pass it down to your kids if that's what you want to do. It's quality. And this one is, this is Hollandis as well. Yeah. Uh, this is Visco. You guys, if you're in Nigeria, you'll know Visco fabrics. They make a lot of nice wax. Okay, and this is the one that I came for. Sure. That's Julius. Yeah, it's Hollandis. called Julius. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one that I actually saw on display. I wanted to buy, if not for the fact that I've already bought other things today this is what i would have bought i'm glad i'm doing this video so that when i come back i actually know the ones that i want to buy i actually want this one and i'm going to be making some stuff out of this so guys if you like this kind of thing like <laughs> comment subscribe to actually see what i make out of this fabric okay here's 29 english pounds hmm? okay charlie okay love all right my dear thank you so much i will be coming back i have said it on video so <laughs> i've said it's on video so definitely i'm going to be coming back guys i love african wax so mm? by the time i'm finished they'll be designing african wax on cars <laughs> like comment subscribe for more real life people for more great contents like this. I am your girl, A for Love, and I am in Rontex Fabrics in Cricklewood. And I see, she didn't want to enter video, but she's giving me audio. <laughs>